So I've had a stroke of genius and um, I'm going against the plans now and I'm just going to take a ruler and I could put it across the last two notches <laughs> and that's where my um, this is where my control surfaces are going to be I am literally just going to guess There it is. I drew the line, it's done. Control surfaces. Looks like I'm gonna need some more wine. <sighs> All right, so I went pee. Uh, one of my buddies from tomorrow, oh, batteries, I have to change batteries, I'm charging batteries, getting ready for tomorrow, hopefully got a ride for tomorrow, last of the wine. Oh yes, control services. Alright, we drew the line, let's cut it. Control services. These are probably horrible control services, but I don't care. I'm gonna bevel them later. Just cutting them out and getting them out of the way for now. As I construct the rest of the aeroplane because I need to account for their throw because I'm modding the plans I don't even know where I got these plans from I got these plans from from um, RC groups a long time ago or something All right, here we go. I'm gonna keep hot gluing. I'm gonna start hot gluing all the tops on. I already got the front on, as you can tell. Um, I did that off camera. Got the front hot glued on. It's fairly simple. You put the hot glue on the um, foam. You try to do it quickly before the stuff cools because it is hot glue after all. I glued on a piece. It's that easy. I don't know if I'm going to do the bottom one here. Yeah, I should do the bottom one here. Let's make sure it fits. Because it doesn't. So I didn't do any test fitting. I'm just going to do some eyeball fitting now. And I like to squeeze these little tabs together. It's easier to get them in. Ooh, I like this song. I should use the inside piece as to hide the bamboo skewer from the viewer who's watching the airplane fly. And it happens to be the one I just fit perfectly.
Got to work quickly with hot glue. Got to get it in the slot. Hold it down. Get it at the right angle. Smush with your little fingers the ow, it's hot blobs. Rub it between your fingers when it's hot. It cools down quickly. This one I have to actually press. It's uh, I want to get this tight because it melds with the other piece on the other side, or it's supposed to, so that I have two pieces of bamboo inside there in that direction. Looks like I have to put a bead of hot glue on this on this one. Uh, let's see if you can see this now. It's not hard. You just fill in all the gaps and you squeeze it in there and make sure it's a good, like a welding. Almost like welding, which you would think welding was like, but it's not like this at all. Right through the gap there. That's gonna be strong. Very strong. All right. Probably gonna end up cutting off all kinds of stuff here on the back side. Well, the top a little because there's a big gap on the back. I don't know how that happened. I don't care though. This plane is supposed to be quick and dirty. I'm building it in hours. I don't expect it to last hours. That's how these planes go. Doing the other side now. Still the same old hot gluing procedure. Pretty boring. So I just hot glued it, press fit it in. That's all I did. Rub my fingers in there and get the pieces out. I'm probably gonna have to weld this guy together, but I'm gonna weld it together after I put the bottom in. Just like the other side. Never actually built this plan or this plane before, so. All of these techniques apply to any profile prop jet or, you know, they really apply to any airplane that you build. You can build any airplane this way actually. This is all adapted from RC Power's ideals, which is just basic as, as you can get. Keep things simple, keep things cheap. And make it so you can repair it fast and fix it fast and build it fast. After all, we're not modelers, right? We're aeronautical enthusiasts. Aviation enthusiasts. Modelers take their time. We'd rather get in the air and do flips right away. Right, millennials? All you younger guys. That's all you want to do. Jump in the air right now. You don't want to learn anything. Sorry, buddy. 
even the quick way like this, you got to learn how to do it. Oh, it's beautiful. Nice and straight, nice beads. I'm going to have to vacuum after this. All right, it's time to do some welding. I'm gonna do the same thing that I did on the other side now. It's especially important right along where the bamboo is. You can use the tip to actually melt existing glue as well. These two pieces are very important. All four of these pieces are very important because these are what support the prop slot. These are what create uh, longitude stability around and through the airframe, through the prop slot. So if you can imagine the fuselage continuing through this open area, these two pieces need to extend and I built a box around it basically. It's the most important part. This one doesn't need a lot, that's good. When it doesn't need a lot of weld, that's a lot, that's very good. There we go. We got an airframe. Essentially all we got to do is put two pieces of tape on the um, control surfaces, put a motor mount on there, Velcro on the electronics, and we're done. That's how easy it is. I built this in two hours. Anyway, let's keep going.